Hi, this is James, and I'm going to be talking about my project for experimenting with current tense amplifiers. So our kit has the Micro Current 6 uh, Click Board, a Click Shield, and a Raspberry Pi. So we'll just take a quick look here. Some uh, clever packaging. So here's our current uh, measuring device. So you put your current through these, these contacts here, and it's able to read it. Then we have the clickboard attachment for a Raspberry Pi. So you can put up to two different clickboards on this. And they just simply plug in. And then with the Raspberry Pi, that just plugs in. So as far as hardware goes, this is kind of what I'm planning on, on using. Um, so they run your program on the Pi. And you can read in the analog, uh, the value of the current uh, from this. So my objective is tr trying to make a safer 3D printer. I think I can look for three things on here. Um, so number one, shorted wires. For the heating element uh, on the bed or the nozzle. Number two is opens. Um, if any wires have, have fallen out. And number three, the more uh, tricky one, would be a fatigued wire. Fatigued or broken wire. And what that would look like um, on my scope trace here, um, this would be the normal sort of uh, current path if you if you were to look at the raw output of the current amplifier uh, portion of the circuit. So it would go high and stay high while it's uh, while it's heating. If the wires ever get shorted, they're going to bypass the the resistor that, that that makes the heat. And so what that would look like on here, let me just change my time scale here. Um, so you'd expect to see a spike like that uh, come through if the wire is ever short. Um, because a lot of printers don't actually have this fused uh, or not fused well, uh, but you could detect uh, an overcurrent situation like that. The next one would be an open. So if the, um, if the wire just literally fell out, it would open like this, and so you'd see a, a drop off in your current coming through. Now you'd still see the control voltage going out there, like if it's applying 24 volts to the heater. Uh, you'd see that on one part of your circuit, but the other part, there would be no current flowing through it. And that's what you'd expect to see in a normal scenario. Now the trickier one, uh, and what I'd really like to see, is if we could detect a uh, fatigued or broken wire so if there's an intermittent fault, um, you might expect to see something like this, where it just drops out momentarily, um, or you might just have some noise in here. So if you had something like a high pass filter, you could detect that noise. Now this, you know, I've got a, a 20 millisecond time scale on here. So you're never gonna detect this with the, the thermal runaway circuit or a software feature of a 3D printer but through something like this, this can sample at a pretty high rate. Um, I'm gonna see if I can detect that, you know, where the, uh, the individual copper wires uh, have bent so much from flexing that they disconnect enough and you get an intermittent fault. So that's what my project is.